As the 2019 federal election is coming close to its conclusion and Canadians are preparing to vote for their party of choice, MCTV News reached out to political candidates in the Sturgeon River Parkland riding for a series of one-on-one -on -one interviews. Today, in the studio, I'm sitting down with Tyler Beauchamp, candidate of the People's Party of Canada. Thank you for joining us today. Oh, thank you for having me. So, for starters, what got you interested in politics in the first place? Oh, that's a rough question. Uh, I got interested in politics uh, probably when I lost my company. So in 2015, I owned an Aboriginally registered occupational health and safety firm in the Alberta oil sands, and we lost uh, 10 years worth of contracts in three days. So trying to recover from that, I ended up uh, losing my business, losing my home, having to relocate my family and kind of start over from square one. And I noticed it was because no one was focusing on Alberta. So it was, I spent my whole career protecting people and I have a voice. So I thought politics would be a good avenue to go down. Someone from the industry should be in politics for this province. As students, we have vested interest in how national decisions will affect our opportunities for success in our future. How will your party engage with and address the interests of young Canadians? Young Canadians specifically? Yes. Okay, well, our party's platform is all about Canadians in general, so we don't focus on young Canadians. However, everything that's in our platform is perfect for young Canadians. We want to reduce taxes, um, revitalize our oil and gas market, so that all of our, I guess, young students that are now getting into the workforce have a job to go to. So you can actually afford to have a home of your own, build a family. So. Despite the fact that Canada's unemployment is at its lowest rate in 43 years, Alberta's oil and gas sector is still struggling. Yeah. How will your party address the needs of Alberta's economical woes? Well, Alberta's unemployment right now is at 7.25%, which is absolutely absurd. So our party's plan is actually to force the construction of pipelines in this province out to Tidewater uh, using 9210 of the Canadian Constitution, which makes uh, pipeline projects to the mutual benefit of Canada, and they can't be stopped by the courts or anyone else for that matter. We also plan on building pipelines from Alberta out to New Brunswick. If you don't know, New Brunswick has uh, Irving Oil. Uh, they import 350,000 barrels of oil a day. So right now, on an annual basis, uh, Canada imports as much oil as we export, even though we're the third, just third largest uh, oil country in the world. So it's kind of crazy. Can Canada transform its energy sector while taking meaningful, meaningful action to protect the environment? Um, yeah. Have you seen, I guess at your age you wouldn't have seen it, but I've worked in uh, the oil sands for a number of years, and the oil and gas market is actually quite clean. Uh, we'll have dirty tailings ponds, but by the time we're done with them, they're a natural habitat that's great for our wildlife. I know our party's focus on the environment is more towards uh, clean water, clean land, clean air. Um, things like uh, helping our Aboriginal communities, making sure that all of our reserves have clean water to drink. That is a right of every Canadian, so that will be our focus. One of the biggest issues across the country is health care. Whether it's the cost of drugs, wait times, or the opioid crisis, what mm -hmm. does your party plan to do about it? Health care. Well, nothing. The only thing I can say about health care, uh, health care is a provincial matter. So Mr. Jason Kenney with the UPC government is actually responsible for the health care in Alberta, just like every other premier across the country. So our party's stance is instead of allowing the provincial government to blame the federal government, we're going to transfer the GST, which is equivalent to roughly $40 billion, to the provincial governments and hold them accountable for their own health care systems. Despite these far-reaching national and provincial issues, what do you feel is the single biggest issue for residents of the Sturgeon River Parkland riding, and how will your party, you and your party, address it? Hmm. For Sturgeon River Parkland, I'm going to say it's the same as all of Alberta, with our unemployment rate being too high. So our biggest challenge is getting everyone back to work. We're having issues with our coal facility shutting down, uh, with no pipelines. A lot of the projects have been put on a shelf indefinitely. So it's just getting investment back in the province, so reducing corporate taxes to get more entrepreneurs out there starting businesses, uh, getting rid of our capital gains taxes overall, um, again, building the pipeline. I'm just trying to get, actually, I guess the other big one is um, reducing any trade barriers between the provinces. So right now, the uh, trade barriers between all provinces equates to about a 7% tariff, which is ludicrous. 
So we'll work to remove all those barriers and then hopefully get more business out in these regions. Okay, and we have our seven rapid fire questions. Rapid fire, okay. Yeah, and okay, so the first one is, when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I actually wanted to be a police officer. I thought I'd be a really good investigator. Mm. Well, What's the first film you ever remember seeing in a movie theater? Ooh, first film. I can't remember the name. I can't even think of the name of it, to be honest with you. I know it was a horror. Oh, and Child's Play. That would probably be the one. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to do when you have downtime? Uh, my favorite thing to do beyond playing with, it's either it's a toss up between riding my Harley or playing with my dogs. So I'm an activist for rescuing animals and me and my wife help out trying to uh, unite rescue dogs with veterans for PTSD. What musician, musician is always on your playlist? Uh, Elton John. Hmm. <laughs> What's your go-to comfort food? Probably macaroni, hamburger, and tomato soup with a little bit of cheese. It's really simple. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what TV series are you binge watching at the moment? Uh, right now, um, probably Bones is the most recent. I don't have much time for TV these days. But. And the last rapid fire question, if you could travel anywhere on the planet, where would you go? Anywhere on the planet? I'd probably just go home to New Brunswick. <laughs> Uh, I love the East Coast. The Atlantic provinces are beautiful. Um, kayaking through the caves of the uh, Bay of Fundy is something else. And right now the cost of travel in our country is absurd, so I don't actually get to go home much. So it's actually roughly $1,500 to fly from Edmonton to New Brunswick, oh. which is crazy considering I can drive into Montana and fly to Florida for, I don't know, $150. <laughs> our broken system. Finally, what separates you from the other candidates and why should voters support you and your party on election day? Um, we're a party for the people. Uh, none of us are, well, there's very few of us that are professional politicians. If you look at our competitors, most of them are. Uh, we, our entire platform is built on our Canadian values of freedom, personal responsibility, fairness and respect. And all of our candidates follow those values. So I'd say for me myself, um, probably my background in oil and gas. Like I'm educated in project management, business management, uh, I'm working on an MBA in finance. I've spent, I don't know, about 17 years protecting people on job sites from anywhere from the top of the Rocky Mountains with transmission lines to the railroads in uh, Settele, Quebec. And I spent uh, five years at CNRL Horizon building that gas plant even during the forest fires. So it's just that experience. Someone who understands our industry and some of the things we do, and is also educated enough to be in this role. Well, uh, that is all, and thank you for joining us. Perfect. Thank you. Join us next time for our final interview when we sit down with Cass Roman, the local candidate for the Green Party of Canada. And remember that regardless of who you support, be sure to get out and vote on the 21st of October.